everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a fun one for you. We're going to paint a snowman. I'm working on a 9x12 gray primed canvas. I'm using this gray to prime my canvases with. So you can use any gray that you want uh, or just make it with some black and white. You want to make sure that it's all dry before beginning the next step. So we're going to be using a toothbrush for the snow in this painting. And I'm going to get it really wet first. Take some of my white. I'm just going to aim and spray like that. So to begin our snowman, I'm going to take a filbert brush. And we are going to go over the snow right here. But I want to have a little bit to begin. Then add the snowman. And then add a few more uh, snowflakes after. So I'm going to have him off-centered a little bit. And I want to make sure I have room for his hat. So I'm going to start his head right here. And then come in with the next part of his body that is going to be bigger. And then finally, the bottom of him is going to be the biggest. I'm going to take a little bit more white on my brush, turn it over like this, and just start scumbling around, giving it more of a 3D look to this snowman. So it's got some little shadows and highlights. It'll help make him look more 3D. Okay, for his hat. I'm going to give him a fun, big, big hat. Kind of lopsided. I don't know, I'm just making this up. You guys can add any kind of a hat you want. I'll make it just a little bit bigger on the top or a little taller. So I want to make it look like He's looking inside a window here. He's outside admiring um, what's going on inside. Um, so let's go ahead and start working on that. I'm going to create the light inside by using some neon yellow and some neon orange. I'll be using some black and some burnt sienna as well. Okay, I'm going to take some white first and I'll just do the first light base inside the window. And it's going to be on an angle here. I'm not going to be able to see everything. I take a little bit more white. Just do those little trim pieces in the window. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm going to come around with some black and some brown. And this time we'll pull some lines diagonal that follow the window. I'm going to have some snow covering up the roof here, so I'm not too worried about making it look too perfect. I'm going to go right under here with some black and add a little bit more in here too. That'll set that window in. Okay, with my flat brush again, a little bit of white, a little bit of neon orange and yellow. Just gonna dab a little bit of this inside these rectangles or window. I'm gonna pull a little bit of it outside of the window as well. So create a little bit of warmth. That light casting around. And I'm gonna add it to our snowman, a little bit on our snowman as well. Just tint your white with just a little bit of whatever yellow, orange, peachy color you have. Well, just a little bit like that. Take a little bit more white. And just clean up these lines a little bit. And I'm going to use a larger filbert brush for this. Some white, a little bit of black. We'll just make a light gray color. And we'll bring it over top that roof line.
we're going to add it right over the roof line. And then with a little bit of white in those peachy colors again. You can add a little hint of light reflecting up there as well. Add a little bit of snow to the edge of the house here. at the base can even have a few little icicles hanging maybe a little bit of snow up here on the window ledge. Make it look a little frostier. a little bit of black. Add a little bit of a shadow there. Okay, I think we can come in and start painting our hat. So we'll, we'll leave the top with a little bit of snow on it. And we'll add a little shadow here from his hat. Add a little bit of white to that and soften. I'm going to take some of that light gray color again that I made, a little bit of water on my brush. OK, 
give a little bit of a highlight. I take a little bit of gray. Give them a sense of a little band or ribbon around. I'll just highlight in here a little bit too. There's going to be some snow probably collecting in that part of his hat. So make it look a little lumpy. Just going to tap in a little bit like that. I'm just making this stuff out of my head, guys, but you can paint any kind of window you want. Um, I might even add a few little pretty twinkling lights. I think I actually will do that. But let's start working on our snowman. I just wanted to wait for him to dry a little bit. And I'm going to be using a little round brush. This is a number two round brush. And we'll start with his eyes. And we'll just take some black, maybe a little bit of white in there. So he's going to be looking down here. He's going to have his nose there and a smile. We want him to be happy, admiring what's going on inside, not sad, right? <laughs> and we'll have one big eye there. I'm going to add his, his nose now just so that let's have our eye on that side so that we've Got some contrast. We'll add the, the nose or the orange for the nose after. And let's give him a scarf as well. So we'll have it wrapping around here. We'll do it in black first. like to have a few little tassels. Hmm. You can't really see those other buttons there. But I'm pretty sure his arm's going to come right here, and we'll have it just come off to the side there. We'll add some snow on that. And then his other arm from that side.
Just adding a little bit of that burnt sienna with my black for a hint of warmth and color. A little bit on his scarf. I'd like to give him a red scarf and I'm going to be using scarlet red but you can use any red that you guys want. I'm going to make a darker shade first. I'm going to take a little bit of my neon orange for a highlight here. A little bit more of my red and I'm applying it quite thick. I think we could go ahead and add uh, the carrot color now. So I'm just going to take a little bit of white with orange and yellow. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more now. In the house. Add some gray colored snow. So I'm just going to do a simple spray and I'll start spraying. I'm going to make some pretty lights hanging, some Christmas lights. I've got a few colors here. I've got some neon yellow with white. I've got neon violet, phthalo blue. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight here to his nose. And then we can start adding our lights. So I'm going to take a little bit of neon yellow with white. We'll add one there, here, maybe one that comes down here. with a little bit of a glow. Okay, for the next color, I'll take a little bit of blue and I'll mix it to make a turquoise color. I'll add one there, one here, and one there as well. Add a little bit of 
white inside. Okay, now for the next color, take a little bit of my violet with white. A little bit of white inside. I'm going to add a little bit of the colors reflecting on the snow. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the strings. And then I'll add a little bit of snow on the strings as well. And we could add some lights down here as well. That would look pretty. I'm going to add a purple one right here. A little bit of white inside. And maybe one that's a little bit more blue. I'm going to create just a little bit more of a glow around this one. And then I'll add a yellow one right here. We could add orange as well. I've got a little bit of my yellow and neon orange left. add one there. I don't know if we have, we don't really have much room on the other side there. All right, everybody, I'm going to call this one done. It was so much fun. Glad I got to share it with you. I can't wait to see your versions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the links below, as well as a full list of all the colors and brushes I used today. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.